This is a Levi Diesel Performance Engineering. We're a fuel injection shop in Savannah, Missouri. And today I'm going to go through and show you a little bit about standardized CB pumps. So these CB pumps were on, I believe, the years 1969 to 1970 John Deere applications. Mainly what we see them on are 4020 John Deere's and uh, 3020 John Deere's, but they went on all sorts of combines and industrial equipment too. These pumps were obsoleted pretty quickly. They were replaced by this pump here. So this is a JDB pump. It's very similar to a DB pump. It just has a bigger flange here to match the flange that was on the CB pump and replace it. So over here, I got one torn down that a customer sent in. These things are normally pretty good pumps, to be honest with you. They leak a bit, but there's not much that goes wrong with them. They're one of my favorite ones to work on. So this is my pile of parts to replace. Name tag. We always put new transfer pump blades and liner in. This is your delivery valve. I always replace it with your delivery valve stop. And then this pump had some water damage in it. You can see all the pitting on this plate. I always replace those if I see pitting on them because I don't want it to put metal through the rest of the pump. But pretty much how these pumps operate is this is your throttle shaft right here. And all of your governor pieces are inside that shaft. So they're laid out right here in a row. So these are your governor weights. And these things try to come apart. So you always want to pull on this upper piece and this lower piece and make sure they're solid. This one, what I'd found was on your governor rod here. It was full of crap inside that hole, which affects the flow of fuel. And then this is your main shaft, your spring. Another thing that commonly goes bad is these are bad about getting water in them. So that rod there connects to your throttle shaft. It spins this gear and they get rusted up a lot. So that's a pretty common problem. Another thing is when they get water in them, the lobes on these cam rings go bad. So you want to make sure there's no pitting there and that it's not uh, worn a ramp down. These things were made with these plugs. So this is a six cylinder. It was on a 4020. So there's six of sets of those plugs in there. So there's a lower plug and an upper plug and they will leak out of those. And I can tell there's supposed to be an epoxy on top of these. So I can tell this one's pretty old because the epoxy's fallen off. So we drill those plugs out. We put new plugs in. You have to use a special epoxy to keep them from leaking. But this is your regulating assembly. There's a, a regulator in there. This is your advance. So these pumps are normally pretty good. They leak. The biggest problem is they're freaking expensive to work on. CB kits are expensive. You can't hardly get any parts anymore because they've been obsoleted. So like on this one, I'll have to go find that thrust plate on a core. But they're neat pumps. We like the history and we like to keep them alive. So if you guys have any questions on them or need any parts, we are a standard unauthorized shop. So we can get you, you know, whatever parts are available. If you need us, you can call the shop 816-324-6680. Thanks.